Let me tell you, the time lapse does not do that justice. We are clearing out from northwest to southeast tonight. Temperatures in southeastern Wisconsin still in the lower 20s, but in Superior, it is already down to three. It is going to be a cold night across much of the state. We will see temperatures falling through the teens over the next couple of hours, eventually the single digits, and then for some of us, the single digits and teens below zero by tomorrow morning. Back to you. Cameron, thank you. Now, if you love guacamole, I know I do. I'm mm -hmm, about absolutely. You, get ready for sticker shock. The USDA announced all avocado sales from Mexico were suspended after an inspector for the department received a verbal threat on his cell phone. Specifics about that threat are still unclear, but the USDA has previously reported violence from the drug cartels, which have been taking advantage of the economically beneficial avocado trade for years. NBC 26's Jenna Bree tells us what this means to our local Mexican restaurants and their popular homemade dip. You think in the Mexican restaurant you will think in avocados? In his 19 years owning El Maya, Sergio Jimenez has only ever used avocados from Mexico in his guacamole. But that's all about to change. When we noticed that it's going to be a ban on that avocados, first thing was the price is going to jump up really bad. As right now, uh, not so bad, had been an increase about 30 percent. The supply is getting shorter. Jimenez says he's going to have to start getting the fruit from California or Peru. Although he's not looking forward to spending more money, he understands the USDA's decision. It's something good because we don't need to be allowed uh, the cartel drugs try to control the market. I don't think it's, it's, it's good. Not only are avocados from California more expensive, Jimenez says they don't taste nearly as good as the ones from Mexico. Avocados from Mexico are the best avocado in the world. They are really creamy. They stay green for too many hours. The flavor is completely different. Over in Appleton, El Agave is on its last few boxes of avocados from Mexico. It was two, two days ago when I heard uh, about the avocados. Uh, right away I contacted Cisco, who's my brother, and uh, speaking to him, he said, well, avocados are going to be, the price is going to be on top of the roof. René Hernández says avocado prices are up 75 percent. He says he's always had his guac listed at market price and hopes customers will understand that he has to charge a couple extra dollars for the dip. It scares me, but at the same time, people love guacamole, so it will not be a Mexican restaurant without guacamole. In Appleton, Jenna Bree, NBC 26. About 80% of the U.S. avocado supply last year came from Mexico. That's according to data from the HAZ Avocado Board. The U.S. government has not said how long the import ban on avocados from Mexico might last.